Hello everybody, you reached the Sprack Attack 248 YouTube channel. I'm Sprack Attack 248 coming from you from the 33rd State of the Union. A little research for what that means. I'll tell you the answer, not Google it. In this episode, I'm going to talk about igniters, specifically this one here. This is called a talon, a talon uh, igniter. This is for lighting off fireworks. Uh, profes some professionals use these because of the Vista fuse. Uh, we're going to get up in personal here, and I've got another camera off the angle of this camera. And what we're going to do is uh, talk about the internals of this igniter. So I'm going to go ahead and take this apart. We're going to do this in PIP here. So as I'm peeling this apart, uh, I'm going to give you a little scenario. This acts as, as a clothespin, so basically it opens and closes like a clothespin. Or as we say in my industry... A C-47. No, I'm not talking about the aircraft. We're talking about a clothespin. That's what we call uh, that type of connection. It's a joke. We in the audio video industry, we have strange names for strange stuff. So that's the way we film it. So anyways, uh, so we're going to go ahead and get right in close here. Uh, igniter, I just took it apart here. And inside this igniter... And get my light adjusted a little bit. Uh, is a um, filament. I don't know if you can see it too well. I can't see it too well on my monitors. Um, so, anyways, uh, within this igniter, you have a filament. Sorry about that, everybody. And in this filament is a wire right about where my pin is. That wire gets really super hot, really, really quick, and it's hot enough to ignite uh, firework uh, fuses like Vista fuse. So we're going to go ahead and have ourselves a little bit of a fun here. So I'm going to plug it into one of my power supplies I have here. Uh, I've got tons of them, so don't worry. If I burn it up, I burn it up. Or as one chap out here says, going to pop it. So, anyways, <laughs> I'll have to see if I can get permission to uh, use his exact footage. So, anyways, there's the igniter. I'm going to try to get myself aimed here. And then I'm going to try to fire it here. And it should just burn right up. And you can see it gets, a, there it goes. So, and that's how the igniter works. It just gets really super hot. Now, what the filament is, it's tungsten wire. And this is like 60-gauge wire. And uh, I don't know if this camera will pick it up better or not. Um, so, anyways, that's the end of this igniter. But it, what's neat about these is it works really great for my uh, ground shows. And I use it a lot for uh, my ground shows. And the nice thing about it is, no matter if I'm using all the consumer fireworks, 99.999% of the time, I'm going to get a successful uh, ignition. And one of the great things about this is, for you that are interested in doing um, electronic firing, you don't need a license for these guys. So that's the great thing about it, and uh, all you got to do is you know, go on the internet, buy, uh, there's some remote uh, firing systems, uh, there's some pin fires out there. Um, I have a Hellfire, that's the controller I have, and I have another one, it's called the uh, Big Boom Sky Assault, and the difference between my Hellfire and that one is simple. How many cues I have. Uh, the Big Boom uh, a Sky Assault has 439 cues. Now, two of those cues are for the starting of the show, and the last one is used for the ending of the show. Matter of fact, they have a start position on the bank control and an ending position on the bank control. My Hellfire has the exact same thing. It has 117 cues. The first cue uh, is, of course, to start the show, and the last cue is to end the show, or the finale, if you will. So, anyways, that's the internal of one of these igniters. I uh, hope you found that very informative, and uh, 
I'll see you guys on the next post. So long.